Hi everyone, have you been to London's bank and see how there are more than just bank buildings and financial institutions? There are many historical ruins here dated as far back as the Roman times. One in particular is underneath this swanky Bloomberg European headquarters. There's a secret Roman temple. This is London Mithrium. I must admit, there are so many ancient Roman gods that this Mithras is not someone I'm familiar with. Why did people worship him? idea of the vastness of the cosmos and of your insignificance, but also because of the importance of Mithras and the idea that within this cosmos, Mithras is the one in control, then you as a worshipper of Mithras have actually got an important place within this cosmos. So nearly 2,000 years ago, when Londinium was founded by the Romans, this area was a river called Woolbrook. In the 3rd century AD, a temple dedicated to Mithras was built. Mithras was a god created by Roman merchants and soldiers. He is used to symbolize bravery and strength, a warrior god who won the battle between good and evil. But it wasn't until the bombing during World War II that the temple of Mithras was first discovered in London. How extraordinary! The author Roger Kipling has actually written a song to Mithras. To visit the London Mithrium, you'll have to book a time slot online in advance. I've provided a link below. The restored site itself is not huge. But there's plenty of archaeological evidence that explains this secret religion that many described as a cult. We need to imagine that in this space, maybe 12 to 15 male worshippers attended horrifying initiation rituals with incense and smoke. Some were blindfolded, some yielding a sword. You could see seashells embedded in the rocks, probably from the long-lost riverbed. At the center of the temple, there's the cult's main icon, Mithras slaying the sacred bull known as the Tauroctony. Around it were zodiac signs representing the cosmos. What's striking for me about this place is the spiritual guidance and protection that ancient people craved for thousands of years ago, even when the gods were created through myths. Imagine a group of macho Roman soldiers, strong and maybe even bloodthirsty, but far from home, they still prayed for blessings from a higher power to give them comfort and safety in a foreign land. Excavations around the British Isle showed many more Roman temples, suggesting that traders, sailors and just ordinary merchants were members of this secret religion. There were over 400 artifacts, different objects, found along with the temple.
call them superstitious, but their longing to connect with heaven and the universe was inspiring, especially from a place hidden in the heart of London. That deeper sense of belonging that has never gone away. <laughs>